So here is the Kin 1, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, I've just cut these tops here, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's a nice little container and a nice little pull tab. That's it. So there's the, uh, this is like an elastic strap. And okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and open that. So there's the Kin. Let's first see what we've got here. Because I love the way we talk. Pretty nice packaging, different. Nice. Uh, so, here's where you make this your own. It's got some settings and dashboard. Uh, unlimited music for Zoom. Safety guide and warranty. And consumer information about radio frequencies, that sort of thing. So, set that aside. We've got a USB adapter. Let's see, we'll go ahead and open that. So, Kin, USB, just normal. Let's see what else we've got. This is, well, we've got some headphones. I wonder if they're the Zoom headphones. That would be nice, because those actually are pretty good if they're the higher-end ones. Probably not, but uh, let's take a look. All right, so, there we go. So, here's the headphones. Uh, inline microphone, little squeeze button there. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. We've got a, um, a normal USB. It's micro USB. I'm not going to open it. Everyone's seen USB cables, but it is micro. And we've got the kin. Oh, and underneath it is the battery. So here's the form factor. Slider. Uh, pretty small. Smaller than I expected. Kind of like a pre, but not, not quite as big. But kind of same form factor. It's pretty nice. Camera button. Here's the battery. Go ahead and take a look. There we go. So here's the battery. Now these are supposed to get a couple days battery worth or battery life, so that's going to be pretty uh, impressive. Little button here looks like we take off the back. Yeah, there we go. You can see it says it's made by Sharp. Um, Sharp made the original Danger phones from or the T-Mobile Sidekick. I don't know how many of you. Oops. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the T-Mobile Sidekick, um, but this is uh, similar, and kind of the replacements. Everything goes to the web and that sort of thing. So, nice small form factor. We've got a little cover here. All right, so on top, it looks like we've got a power button on the side, camera button, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume up and down, Looks like your microphone's right there under the keyboard. And you get a speaker here. And then like your home button. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. Specs wise, this one, there we go, Verizon. This one has a 5 megapixel camera with flash. So here is the Kin 2, and uh, I've already cut this so we can open it, and we'll go ahead and pop the top off. And just like the Kin 1, with a little pull tab and this canister thing going on here, let's go ahead and get the elastic piece off. So, uh, open it up. Oh, fell, some stuff fell out. Same, uh, looks like everything's the same here. This changes things. And open that. You turn me on. Uh, kind of a nice color manual, unlimited music, product and safety guide, and consumer operation information. Kind of all the same stuff, or exactly the same stuff in the other one. So, you've got the plug, USB, some headphones, uh, they have the word KIN on them, you saw on the other one, and micro USB. Uh, here's the phone itself. And the battery's in here. I'm not going to turn it on. The other one wasn't charged. So here's the phone. Slider phone. Specs are a uh, 600 megahertz Tegra processor. 8 megapixel camera with 720p video recording. Um, got a camera button. Camera with your flash. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, your audio or your speaker or whatever. Uh, your home button. Your microphone. USB. 
And that looks like it's that's about it. Uh, oh, and then you've got your volume rocker up and down, and your on switch, on off. Slides open, you've got a full QWERTY for two thumb uh, use. Nice big space bar. Uh, and that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing goes. A really nice, nice form factor. I uh, don't have another phone on me actually to compare, but we'll do a lot of comparisons and a lot of different things. Pretty excited about these as they're a lot different than uh, iPhone or Android or Palm Pre. They're their own thing. Social media phones. Uh, this one is $99 with rebate from Verizon. Uh, the other, the Kin 1, is $50. Uh, you have to have a two-year contract and you have to have a data plan. That's kind of the crappy part about the whole thing. Even though it does use a lot of data, uh, you're going to need a, a plan for that. So it does hike this up near the cost of an Android or that sort of thing. But it's made for social media and it's a whole different take on everything. So this is a nice phone. We'll go ahead and pull this off here. And we'll pop the back off. I guess what this is a... Yeah, there we go. That was easy. Sharp, you can see. And here's your battery. Uh, the battery in the other one was not charged, but um, we'll go ahead and get started taking a look at it. Uh, not a whole lot to do as far as, uh, as far as an unboxing, but that's that, and we'll take a lot of different looks at this. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.